hoping she'd come back with some great looking nails and she comes back in green and I was just like I didn't think we were getting engaged. Oh great! I got green because I just thought it was fun. I tried to hold your hand. This is when I started to catch on. I tried to hold his hand and when I grabbed your hand it was so clammy. You put the ring on my finger. No, it took like 30 seconds for you to like the It wasn't that long. Were, uh -huh. it was, well, I wanted to have my moment. Hello friends. I hope you're having a great weekend. We're engaged! can't believe it. Every time I look down on my hand, I'm like, whoa, I'm a fiance. You're a fiance. I'm a fiance. If you're new to this channel, my name is Nicole. This is Chandler, my fiance. We are just over the moon and we're so, so excited. We got engaged on the 4th of July and life has been so crazy in the most beautiful way ever since then. And so today we wanted to do just like a proper sit down story time to fill in the gaps and catch you guys up on all the fun details because it's just been so fun. It's so exciting and we're so glad that you're here. So please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because we want to be your friend, but let's jump into it. I was super surprised that we got engaged on the 4th of July. I did not yeah. expect that to happen, but I did expect to get engaged. We've been talking about getting engaged for quite a while, but I didn't know when. I had some thoughts kind of like, ruminating up in my mind about when you might do it but i was so shocked that it happened on the fourth of july yeah so i had originally talked to her parents and her dad back in march from then kind of just praying when i was going to do it i know we have a big trip coming up to switzerland and then we're also going to washington to visit her family so i was thinking about those ideas but i knew in switzerland that's kind of when i thought you were going to do it too yeah, nobody could be there and i know that she wanted her family be kind of part of it. When we're going to Washington, I knew that her sister couldn't be there. Yeah, we have a trip coming up in a couple weeks. He's never really been to the Pacific Northwest, and so we're gonna go to my hometown and he's gonna get to spend some time with my family. And I actually thought you were gonna do it there. Her mom and I had kind of talked about doing it then, and then I kind of just got this idea of doing it on the 4th, because I know she really loves fireworks. Um, <laughs> yeah. Fireworks are like one of my favorite things. Yeah, and then her family was actually able to come in and her sister, so it yeah. all, all worked out. That's so smart because I genuinely thought you were going to propose when we went to Washington. My sister works for Young Life and she's going to be in Canada for the whole month at camp and so she wouldn't have been able to come. And so that was so perfect that you did it on the 4th because my mom, dad, and sister all got to be there, which was really special. I'm not going to lie though, it would have been super epic had you done it in the Swiss Alps. Like, we, guys, we had this trip, we have this trip to Switzerland had it planned for months because we had so much fun when we went to Egypt. We just wanted to try somewhere else and neither of us have really explored Europe that much. So we planned this trip months ago and I had no idea that this was going to happen. And so we were just talking about earlier that wedding planning has kind of taken over the planning for <laughs> that trip. <laughs> Literally we're, we're planning a wedding now, but we're also still like trying to finalize all of our plans for Switzerland. So I think we might take a, a break after the wedding before we go on our honeymoon because that's a lot back to back to back. So it started off just like any normal day. I mean, I was down in Huntsville where Chandler lives. We decided to spend the fourth down there and I woke up and it was just like any other day. We just kind of, we, we had breakfast and then we went to the gym. I think you were planning on going to the gym a little <laughs> later in the day. So I then wanted it, like, the day to set up to where I would come back from the gym, kind of get ready and then just get moving just out to go. go towards dinner. And I was just already bored. So after breakfast, I was like, well, shoot, let's go to the gym now. So we went to the gym and you guys, this is so funny. It's been like weirdly rainy this summer and it has not felt like summer. And so all week, it had been raining and just gray and gloomy and I'm a seasonal depression kind of gal when it's raining I just get sad. I don't know why I'm like that But it had been raining almost all week So I was already sad, but it was raining on the 4th of July and I was just depressed And so we literally we left the gym and I was just sitting in the passenger seat and he looks at me and goes What's wrong? And I said, I think I'm depressed <laughs> I literally was like, I think I'm depressed. And so we went and got some smoothies, went home, got ready for dinner. He had made reservations at this nice restaurant downtown where we were gonna watch the fireworks so we could have a good place to, to watch the fireworks that night. And I didn't think anything of it. It was just the two of us. And so honestly, I didn't even plan that cute of an outfit. Didn't even pack my curling iron in. If anything shows you that I didn't know this was coming, my nails were green. Like literally had neon green nails on this day, but we got ready for dinner and we had like an extra hour and a half to kill. Pause about the nails. Funny story. Six days before I showed up and she was like, I'm going to get my nails done with my friend. And I thought, I thought then that you had set that up. And she, she literally asked friend. me, she was like, did you set this up? And I said, no, I've never even met this person. She's like, you could have DM'd her. And I was like, no. Yeah, I was hoping she'd come back with some great looking nails. And she comes back in green and I was just like, I didn't think we were getting engaged. Oh, great. Literally, 
Okay, so my friend asked me to get our nails done, and I thought, oh, I wonder if Chandler's up to this. But he had never met this friend before, and she's a newer friend of mine. He literally thought, I was like, there's no way I'm getting proposed to soon. So I got green, because I just thought it was fun. And he was dying, and my mom, I guess, told him, like, you can't say anything about her, else she'll be on to you. So anyhow, we had an hour and a half to kill before dinner, and we were watching Gilmore Girls. And I was, I tried to hold your hand. This is when I started to catch on. I tried to hold his hand. He pulled away from me, and when I grabbed your hand, it was so clammy. You guys, his hands were so clammy. And you played it off so cool though. I was like, why are your hands clammy? And he's like, I don't, I don't know, it's just so odd. And I didn't really think anything of it. Then he stands up. He's watching Gilmore Girls, standing up with his hands in his back pocket like this, like so close to the TV, like such a dad move. And I'm like, Chandler, sit down, why are you standing? And he goes, we just have so much time before dinner. I'm getting kind of antsy. Like I didn't anticipate having this much time. Then I started to like get on to you about it. And so we paused the show and he wanted to make some TikToks, which if you follow me on TikTok, you'll see the two TikToks that we made that we did like an hour before he proposed. We got changed and went to dinner. And when we got out of the car, he, you asked to hold my fanny pack. And I'm like, okay, something's coming because he's never asked to hold my bag like that before. So I just gave him my fanny pack and I didn't ask any questions and he grabbed my hand and it was so sweaty. <laughs> you were so nervous. So we kind of went through the back way where the restaurant is and there's a little courtyard back there. And when we rounded the corner, there were these flowers laid out and balloons and he just whipped around, dropped to his knee and said six words. <laughs> Nicole Renard, will you marry me? I kind of blacked out. <laughs> I think I blacked out. It happened so fast, literally. I think we were both just in shock. I don't even remember what I did, but you put the ring on my finger. No, it took like 30 seconds for you to accept it. It wasn't ring. that long. Were, oh. it was, well, I wanted to have my moment. Every girl wants to have their moment when they get proposed to. Sometimes guys are giving speeches, and so I just had to do mine quickly. I think I might have twirled or something. I got excited. I think I was laughing. I was laughing and like kind of crying and then he put the ring on my finger and I turned around and my mom, dad, and sister were walking out of the car and I just, I lost it, I was crying. And it was so sweet, your small group leader and then a girl from his small group were there taking pictures and so it was, just, it was really small, honestly. Got some pictures, everyone was there, it was so happy. Literally so simple and so sweet. I was originally wanting to do it at nighttime with fireworks but I thought the lighting would be good and with her family flying in, they wouldn't get to spend much time with her. Yeah. So then I thought dinner and at dinner, if we sat at a big table with just the two, us she could tell that something was up or if we just sat too then they wouldn't be able to have dinner with us so then i decided to do it before and the weather was kind of iffy so i didn't know if everything would work out and then and we they, all watched the fireworks together yeah that and they had crazy. stuff set up in their hotel room with balloons and cake and champagne and we got to hang out there it, it, it went by so fast once we started having dinner everything f just flew by but it was so so special the funny part of all that is this my sweat attack for like 20 minutes and the waiter the waiter, comes over, so the waiter much. comes over they're like fanning me at the table. we had the menus and we were like <laughs> The waiter comes over, he's like, he's like, you all right, you need to come into my uh, freezer? And I was like, <laughs> Honestly, he's like we just got engaged. And he was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. And he's like, is this your family? I was like, no, it's her. He's like, oh, wait, it makes way more sense. <laughs> this one. Good job. <laughs> Literally happiest day of my life thus far. There are a lot of moving parts right now, and we are so excited to share more. And so please, again, if you're not already, subscribe to this channel. And also, my newsletter is free. We're going to be sending out a lot of information there. If you want first dibs on all that exclusive information, NicoleTheNomad.com. You can sign up for free. We're going to do a Q&A next week where we're going to answer more of your questions and go into detail. Just more about like dating and relationship stuff. So... Stay tuned. We got lots of juicy things coming. We're just so excited and we want to thank you for being excited with us. Anything else? Stay tuned. <laughs> we love you guys. Bye.